Welcome back. In this video series, we're going to be walking through how to install and run Kitty Items. If you missed the previous video, check it out where I walk through what Kitty Items is and walk through the whole app architecture. In this video, we're going to talk about how to install Kitty Items, make sure that we have the right dependencies, make sure that we have the right versions and clone the repo locally. So to do this, we need to make sure that we have Node.js, the Flow CLI, and our favorite text editor and a, and a terminal. So for node, we want to make sure that we have at least 16 or above. You can check your node version using node dash V. I have my text editor ready to go here. So we can do node V. Oh, 16.13.2. Great. And then we have the flow CLI. The flow CLI is our gateway to all things flow when it comes to developing locally. It's through the flow CLI that we can spin up an emulator. It's through the flow CLI that we can spin up a dev wallet. It's through the flow CLI that we can send a transaction. Um, Kitty items has a lot of helpful scripts that automate a lot of this, but the flow CLI is a critical part of developing on flow. So you should have it regardless of Kitty items. And for this specific tutorial, you should have at least 32.3 or above. So let's double check. What version we have flow version 33.1 awesome so we are ready to go but without further ado we need to clone the repo we are cloning this repo the reason i show you this repo is to make it super clear that this is an open source project meaning that anyone who has ideas feature requests issues feel free to contribute to this this is open to all and everyone is welcome so we are going to clone the project. Let's clear the terminal and let's go and clone KD items. Awesome. So we have KD items cloned. Let's open up and we are ready to go. Now, if you are using VS code, I highly recommend you install the cadence plugin for VS code. This will make sure that you have everything you need to develop with cadence effectively, including syntax highlighting to do that. If you don't have it installed, you can type in flow cadence, install VS code extension. If you want to do it, the flow CLI route, otherwise you can go here, search cadence and install that plugin. Awesome. We are ready to go. First thing we do when we clone a node project is always NPM install the node modules that we're going to need. So we'll let that go for a while. And the other thing we need to do is you'll see here, there's a specific step for people with a M1 Mac. If you're not sure if you have an M1 Mac, I recommend, um, you run this command. This will tell you if you, um, if you have an M1 Mac, if, if the CPU line mentions M1 anywhere, you have an M1 Mac. And on, and we need to run this extra step, which is to go into the web folder. Let's go into the web folder and MPI and install this arm 64 dependency. Cool. Let's CD back. And now that we have all of our dependencies installed, we can start taking a look at our project. Like we saw in our diagram. You know how we have the front end, the back end, and cadence. We have the same three uh, components here in our project. We have the API, which is the back end. We have cadence, which um, is the smart contracts, and we have web, which is the front end. So front end, back end, and cadence. This is a classic Next.js app. This is a classic Node.js Express server uh, with an SQLite database. And Cadence contains all the contracts, scripts, and transactions that we're going to need to get Kitty items running. Here, we also have some extra configuration files. Uh, for example, the flow.json uh, is the configuration file that the flow CLI requires. Um, and these are uh, just project specific config files that you don't really need to worry about. All right. So we installed everything that we need. The next step is to actually get this app running and, you know, playing around with it and start modifying it, checking out the local emulator, 
lots of cool stuff to do in these next steps, but I'm going to stop this video here so that it remains within the scope of installation and getting everything ready. We are ready to move on to the next step. So see you in the next video.